Uh, welcome to the first, vid first video in our Pool to Pond video series. This is our 30,000 ga gallon in-ground pool. Um, this pool about two years ago came up on a need. Uh, it's been there for a while, but it became pretty uh, ridiculously needy for a replaster. The replaster for this pool is about $8,000. Two children in college, but it just wasn't happening. It wasn't getting available out of use. And it's a rather significant maintenance chore, both from a physical standpoint as well as a financial standpoint. Uh, the cost to, for chemicals and the cost for electricity and all those goodies. We made the choice just to let it go. And originally we were going to just have the pool plowed in and recover this section of the backyard. But then we uh, hesitated on that for a little while. Uh, we started getting some mosquito larvae. So I threw some fish in here to help manage the mosquito larvae. And next thing you know, we're making a pond out of this pool. And uh, here's the original hot tub. And then the pond itself. Uh, our intentions, we're going to plant the pond well. We're going to populate the pond with various types of fish. Right now, what we have uh, is just some feeder fish I picked up at the pet store. So they're basically a mixture of little goldfish of various types. Um, some of those little goldfish now wintered over with us this year and uh, they're now about three to four inches long and they're very well established there's a whole bunch of very small goldfish which you might be able to see here um, these are some very very small almost larval fish right there uh, so we have Oh, tens of thousands of baby goldfish in here, which I'm sure we'll have to manage pretty soon. But uh, yeah, I think we've got reasonable life in the pool now. So we're going to begin to establish a wildlife. So we're going to begin to establish plant life in here as well. I'll show you some of the bigger goldfish uh, in a minute when I can. We'll happen up on them. Uh, we also have, oh, there's one of our larger goldfish he's a bit deep to see maybe but uh they're down there and we've got uh, we've counted about eight simultaneously it's not sure exactly how many we have so we started establishing plant life just last week um some of what we put in was here's some some hogwart plant hopefully began to help clarify this water quite a bit um, unintentionally we also have a fair amount of duckweed over here in the hot tub uh, that was just uh, free free spawning probably came in off a bird's foot or something I don't know but it's here and uh, and we also have a bullfrog uh, several bullfrogs uh, this diving board will go away soon but the, uh, the bullfrogs are doing well uh, we also have a mess of boxers this is one of the silly girls um, Sadly, that's kind of what happened to our bullfrog, is uh, I guess one of our boxers managed to find her. And uh, so that was not a, that was not a good ending. Uh, over in this skimmer on the far side you see over there, it's where our largest bullfrog tends to like to hang out. But uh, we'll get a picture of him sometime when we can. So uh, then, then some of the first plants we put in, here's a lily pad. This is a beautiful purple lily pad with the yellow, yellow center. And then this lily pad, which just lost its bloom. It's got more blooms coming up behind that. If you can see under the water, I don't know. There's a bloom right there. This is the bloom that went down. And this is a peach colored uh, bloom on this particular lily pad. Uh, we're gonna go today, hopefully, and get some more plant diversity for the pond. And uh, yeah, just try start trying to establish various types of plants into the pond. Um, we got some irises we're going to get. We've got some white lily pads that are native in our area. We're going to get. Uh, you can see clumps of hogwart floating about there. I didn't tie it up. I just let it go. We'll see. I may be harvesting it to keep it from going too crazy up here in the pool. But that's kind of a fun little project. We want to make a natural space here in the backyard. We've got the uh, we got the volume to do it for sure. Um, got some real issues with depths and uh, plant life the depth of the pool in the deep end is about nine foot 
on the shallow and it's still fairly deep at about three and a half feet um, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna try to train some lilies uh, to, to go into the deeper portions right now you saw those lilies right down there they're actually sitting on a, a rest bench there in the deep end uh, we've got some bench space that goes around the front of this hot tub and then we've got some obviously some bench space in the hot tub we're going to kind of use the hot tub i think as a propagation center where we start our plants there we've got shallow steps and deep steps and all the way to the bottom of it so we can begin to train some things there pretty easily so uh yeah it's going to be fun um we do have to manage the dogs they do like to swim uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing um, it just can be a challenge when you're trying to establish plant life we've not put any koi in Let's see if i can get you a shot of this larger goldfish here but i've not put any koi fish in which we kind of like to at some point but uh, we just haven't done that yet because they do tend to like to eat um, like to eat plant life so we're going to stay with the goldfish for now it's a couple of our larger goldfish that you can hopefully see um, down there like i said they're about yeah we're between three and five inches uh, they got substantially large over the year uh, you see a little gray fish there maybe but uh, we've got some i think that are gray that we have yet to see them in their larger form and it may just be various mutations of the goldfish um, these are not sold as goldfish they're sold as feeder fish so they're rather you know a mix of various fishes various fish types and uh, right now there's a ton of leaves down there we're going to see hopefully they will reasonably biodegrade and feed the feed the pond system but uh we're going to make a number of videos as we go along, as we add things, as it develops and matures. Right now, it's very immature. Uh, it's going to take a while to uh, establish everything, get everything in check. So, also, obviously, need to do just a little bit of yard work uh, to get this space back. Uh, somewhere we can come out and sit, enjoy the nature of the pond. And uh, so, yeah, it's a whole new life for this part of the backyard. A whole new knife for the pool and uh, you know again the worst case is we decide to plow the pool in in the future that's fine that was kind of our only option anyway but I think we're gonna love it so that's it for this first go-around I'll talk to you more as we introduce more and more species of plant and fish <laughs>